here we are with the two biggest models of Avant. Uh, the previous biggest one, 760i, and now the current biggest one, the 860i. And here for the first time we have the 800 series with the cab to be seen alive. So you can see also from far away, but there's uh, quite significant changes to the cab. It's the previous uh, best cab available, and now the 860i cab over there. Let's take a little bit closer look at what the differences are. All right, here we are, a little bit closer up. Uh, as you can see, a uh, lot more clean look from the uh, of the cab. The beacon, for instance, is made with four separate lights over here, so they're not making the machine any higher, but still not compromising any of the visibility of the of the beacons. Um, the most significant change to the old cab is that the new cab is mounted on rubber mounts over here, four pieces, one, two at the back, uh, two at the front. So it's uh, isolated from the rest of the chassis and thus making all the vibrations of the engine uh, hydraulics not transfer directly into the cab. So that makes it a lot more quiet and uh, more comfortable for the driver. All right, here we are at the entry point. Uh, one of the biggest differences is that there's uh, more space here at the lower uh, lower space. So when you're getting in and out of the cab, you have more room for your feet to to step out. So even though the machine is a little bit higher, uh, it's easier to get in and out of the cab. Plus, there's also more grips built into the cab over here, all around. So it's easier to place your hands uh, to the most convenient location with no problem. Even though the cab itself is not so much bigger from the outer dimensions, the inner usability of the cab is a lot better. So there's place for you to put your cell phone over here or over here, some pens, stuff like that, what you always have around. The window area of the cab is a lot bigger compared to the old one, so you feel it instantly. There's the lower window is a lot bigger, there's a roof window over here, plus these B pillars over here, they're seven centimeters smaller than on the previous uh, cab. So looking back like this, it's a lot more, uh, you can see a lot more, so make it again easier to work. Uh, otherwise, also all the buttons are now uh, in one row, also a lot more simple to, to understand where they are. They're not scattered around the operator's uh, cap. The heat insulation is made a lot better. Just starting from where the levers are coming through, everything is isolated a lot better compared to the old one. So a lot better heat insulation in the cab. Then the heat distribution is now made uh, so completely differently compared to the old one. So now we have one tube over here at the back, transferring all the air to the upside, uh, upper side of the roof, and then it divides to both sides of the roof over here. So here on the left side, we have two outlets. On the right side, we have two outlets. Plus we have one outlet for your feet as well. So your feet don't get cold and you can get hot air to the windscreen, to the side screens, uh, keeping the machine clear of fog even in the worst of conditions. All right, all of these improvements improve and make it easier for the operator to work all day, especially when working long days.